Hello, my loves, and welcome back. Do you have an anxious or aggressive cat? Do you wish that there was a way that you could help them to feel balanced and calm and safe? Well, you can. This video, we're going to talk about how you can ground your cat's energy, how you can support them in feeling safe and secure in their environment, in relationships, in their day to day. If you haven't already subscribed to the Naturally Cats YouTube channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell to get notifications of my new releases so you can help your cat with every video. Now, let's dive in. I'm going to share with you today 10 different ways that you can offer grounding to your cat. You don't need to do them all. You can pick and choose which ones resonate for you. And there'll be some that you may have already tried and some that are new to you. So, Let's talk about why we need to ground our cat's energy. So everything is made of energy and we all have chakras in our body, which are our core energy systems, and they impact how we deal with day to day, how we feel safe in our environment, how we interact in our relationships. And I'm sure that you're aware when it comes to humans, we talk about feeling grounded, being present. When we get off airplanes, we talk about, you know, putting our feet literally to the earth, to the soil, to the ground to feel grounded and centered. And our cats need support in this area, okay? So we're going to talk today about how we can offer that to them. So I've got a list of 10 things to share with you. And the first is about understanding that the root chakra, which is the one at the bottom here, okay? So towards the cat's tail, that's the chakra that's associated with safety, safety in their environment, safety with their day to day, safety in who they are. OK, so if a cat is ungrounded, it's likely that their root chakra is out of balance. Perhaps it's overactive or underactive. Perhaps there are blockages and there's more on this in another video. But but for today, we're going to talk about how you can offer them support to balance that energy. So to start with, we need to understand that the root chakra has a color and a symbol associated with it, okay? And these are the first two ways that you can offer your cat grounding. So you can put down pieces of red in and around the home, light red, dark red. As you can see, I'm wearing red to be grounded whilst I do this video. And you can also print off the symbol for the root chakra and you can put them on the floor. That's all you need to do. These first two are really simple. In fact, a lot of these are really simple because it's about giving your cat a choice. It's not about making them do anything. It's not about forcing anything onto them. It's about acknowledging that they are a sentient being and saying to them, would you like to work with this? So if I forced a medication on you, if I, you know, made you take a tablet to feel better or, you know, um, put you on a massage table and said, this is, I know this will make you feel better. Is that really going to help? So when we give our cat a choice, that already shifts their energy. So you can get pieces of color, color paper, color fabric, and put it on the floor, put it on the bed, put it in the spare bed, put it in the dining room, wherever you like. A word of caution, don't add it to your cat's bed. When we put down color and some of the other things I'm going to talk about today, they all have a frequency. They all have an energy of their own. And if a cat doesn't want to work with that energy, you may displace it. So if you put a beautiful red blanket on your cat's um, cat bed, favorite cat bed, and they don't want red, they don't want that vibration, they're not going to sleep there. So you could displace them from somewhere that they already feel safe and grounded in. So be sure when you're using color or the chakra symbol that you put it somewhere else, not near food, not near litter trays, like I said, just in and around the home, putting it on your bed is usually a great place to start because your bedroom, your bed is where your scent is concentrated. So that's likely to be where the cat feels the, the most safe in their environment when they have your smell and your scent near them. So try with your bed. So that's the first two. So it's red fabric or paper and the symbol for the root chakra. Okay, the next two we're going to talk about are stillness and meditation. So meditation is for you. It's for your energy and vibration. You can get music for, for animals. So you can put a soundtrack on. Sound is a lovely way to support your cat. 
But with meditation and stillness, I'm talking about you supporting yourself. Because when we are grounded, when we are balanced, when we aren't so much in our crazy heads and, you know, the mind being like a puppy and just kind of relentless and and nonstop, our vibration gets very constrictive and it can get very frantic and our cats can sense and feel that. So find five minutes. You don't need to do like an hour. Just find five minutes. Insights Timer is a brilliant app for meditations. There are soundtracks. There are um, guided and non-guided meditations. There's a whole range of things on there, different um, voices, speakers, lengths. It's brilliant. So try a bit of meditation. And you will probably find that your cat will come and sit near you or sit on you or start to enjoy it with you. Then with stillness, this is different. This isn't about listening to a track, about doing a meditation. Stillness is about being. Being present with where you are, what's going on with you. You might find it helpful to close your eyes. I would really encourage you to turn off distractions and devices and just be. And again, this may sound really simplistic, but it's hugely effective because when we sit in stillness, when we give our minds the chance to kind of talk themselves out and tire themselves out, we're left with a sense of who we are and connecting with our body, with the present moment, and we become grounded. And when we are grounded, our cats can sense and feel that. So if you're desperate to help your cat with their behavior issue or concern, and they're not doing or engaging with any of the other tools that you've tried, put a pin in it and pause and work on you. Meditate, sit in stillness, and then take a step and see what happens. So I hope that these are resonating for you. And if you haven't tried any of the ones that I've talked about so far, please give it a try. Offer your cat the choice. And if they're not ready or they're not able to work with those tools just yet, focus on yourself. So drop into the comments below and let me know. Let me know if you've tried any of these and if they've helped you and your cat. So the next one we're going to talk about is visualization. Now, again, this may be for some people and it may not be for others. And if it doesn't resonate for you, don't worry, then there are more to come that hopefully will. So with visualization, you can use a photo of your cat. You can simply just close your eyes and picture them, picture them in your mind's eye, picture them in your heart space. Just remember a moment of pure joy and love and happiness that you shared. And then visualize roots coming out from the soles of their feet and going down into the earth. Again, simple, but hugely effective. I generally like to ask my cat's permission if I'm going to do this, because this is a way that I'm offering to support them energetically. And I still like to give them a choice. So I will ask them again, quietly in my head, in my mind's eye, if they'd like to experience some grounding energy. And then I will picture them, picture the roots coming down if they give me a yes. If you're not sure, if you're uncertain about how to do that, don't worry. Perhaps try one of the other options that I've mentioned. But we can do this for ourselves as well. And again, I am going to hammer home the point that our energy and vibration is linked to our cats. So when we work on ourselves, we actually also impact them as well. So perhaps you want to sit in stillness and visualize your own roots going down to the center of the earth. So visualization is a really powerful one. Okay, the next two can be used together, but again, they can be used separately. So these are talking calmly to your cat and putting your hands on them. Now, let me explain what I mean. So talking calmly, that's about taking a breath, changing your tone, your pace, changing the way your words are delivered to your cat. When we're dealing with an anxious or an aggressive cat, it's really easy to become really frustrated and really fraught and really fed up and just really like heightened because we are worried, we are scared, etc. When we take a breath, it automatically softens our body. So if you are feeling like the end of your tether and your world is about to implode, take a breath and start to talk calmly. It's okay, buddy, you are safe, you are loved. Using your voice, again, can be a very powerful way to connect with your cat. If they are hiding under the bed, or they are hissing and spitting, and you've got no chance of getting anywhere near them, use your words. Your words still create a bond and a connection between you and your cat, and you will help to soothe their energy by the calm, 
tone, pace, and words that you use with your voice. The next one is about when I say put your hands on them. So I've mentioned to you about the root chakra being towards the tail. Now, putting your hands on them means offering them the chance to literally com- connect their body to the world, to the day to day. So I would recommend, you know, putting your hand, if, if your cat will allow you to, just ever so gently towards their tail. And if they're not comfortable with actual connection and physical touch, just come slightly above. And again, just offering them light and love, red energy. You can close your eyes and picture it, imagine it, visualize it, whatever language works for you. I send this healing to you, buddy. I offer you the chance to feel grounded. Okay. And I've got another video called Feel the Frequency of Your Cat, which I'll pop a link below. And it talks about how to sense and feel your cat's energy. But there's more in that video. So stillness, meditation, calm words, gentle kind of touch and connection also leads me to using a mantra. So I've mentioned at the beginning about putting down colour, the the red pieces of fabric. I've mentioned about uh, using this symbol. And also you can use words. I mentioned to you how powerful when you talk to your cat it can be. And you can write down things on a piece of paper. And again, this may not resonate for everyone. That's okay. But imagine if somebody left you a a little note that said, I love you. Like, how would that make you feel if you found it on your bed? If you found it like taped to the kitchen cupboard? I know for me, it would really make me smile. And that already lifts my vibration. So you can write down mantras, write down words, phrases, sayings, and put them on the floor for your cat. You are grounded. You are safe. You know, put it on a post-it, put it on the floor. I I would love to see. And again, drop into the comments below if you've done this or if you do this and your cat lays on it. There is power in the written word, the spoken word. Words are extremely powerful. So again, offer your cat that choice to work with your words, with your intention to help them feel grounded. Okay, and then the last two that we're going to talk about are two of my favorites. It's herbs and crystals. So again, this is all about concentrating the energy within the root chakra. So you can put down crystals, be sure that they're appropriate size. Okay, don't be putting down, you know, quite small pieces that the cat could potentially ingest. But putting down crystals to support the cat with the energetics of their root chakra. Now, there's more information in my cat chakra book, a complete guide to clearing and cleans- to clearing, cleansing and balancing your cat's core energy centers. And I've got a bit in here that obviously it mentions every uh, each of the chakras. But when it comes to the individual chakras, I talk about which crystals are supportive for each one. And it's really aligned with the color. OK, so we talked about the color for the root being red, as you've mentioned here. OK. So you want crystals like ruby and bloodstone, garnet, things that are red and a deep, deep red. So there are uh, options like red jasper, where they are slightly lighter compared to garnet, which is a darker color. So put them down on the floor. Make sure that they're cleansed. Again, there's more information on how to do that in the book. And just offer your cat. Offer your cat the chance to sit with that vibration. Okay. And then the last one I wanted to talk to you about is herbs. So I'm a great believer that herbs are a beautiful way to offer your cat emotional, energetic, physical, mental support. Now, get a towel or a blanket, but in a quiet area of the home, again, not near food or the litter tray, and naturally with a herb garden, not somewhere that's kind of like a heavy footfall area like the front room. We've got one in the dining room. I've got one in my, uh, down here in my office. So put down a a towel or a blanket and put down some dried herb, organic if you can. Now, particularly for grounding, you want to think about roots. Okay, so I've mentioned to you about visualization, visualizing the roots going down from your cat's feet into the ground. And it's the same with herbs. So angelica root, valerian root. Okay, both of those are brilliant. Valerian helps with anxiety, it helps with physical pain. It's really calming, emotionally supportive. And then Angelica Root is one of the most beautiful remedies. It actually nurtures the heart. 
And when you offer your cat Angelica root along with valerian, it almost balances the two sides of them, the heart and the body, the head and the heart. So putting down a beautiful, you know, a good sized pinch, don't, don't be stingy with it, uh, in opposite corners and letting your cat choose, letting them see what they want to in engage with, how they want to work with it. You may notice that they rub and roll around. They may just sit near it. Again, just observe. Give your cat a choice, okay? So when it comes to grounding, we've, we've got such a range of ways that you can offer them support from working on yourself and your energy, which they will feel, to offering them ways to support themselves. Those that you can be part of with the grounding, with the visualization, with the hands-on, and those that you can be separate from, that you can enable them to choose to, to work with by themselves. And having a mixture of these options down is a really great way to say to your cat, like, I see you. I understand you have energetic and emotional needs. And this is what I'm doing for you to support you with that. That in itself, trust me, will truly deepen your relationship and connection with them. So pick which ones have worked, you know, which ones have resonated for you in this video. And as I've said, come into the comments below and let me know which ones that you've tried, which ones your cat engaged with. And as I said, if you'd like to know more about how to work with your cat chakras, how to support their chakra system, be sure to get a copy of my book. It's available on Amazon. You can also get a signed copy from my website, naturallycats.co.uk. I'll pop a link in the description below. And you can try all this yourself. You can try to support your cat's energetics. And like I said, just have fun with it, okay? So thank you for watching, my love, and I will see you in the next video.